Hey, this is Shelly and you're watching Eat Break Books. Hi everyone, um, welcome to the reading vlog. I am on my way to Whole Foods right now. I'm so excited to vlog this week. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna show you what I'm reading and also just other fun stuff that I do during the week. I'm really excited. I will tell you what I'm currently reading right now. I'm finishing up the last 30 pages of Chasing Lucky by Jen Bennett. And then I'm about a third of the way through uh, Once Upon a Quinceanera by Monica Gomez Hira. And I love it so far. It is so much fun to read. Um, it takes place in Miami in the Cuban community. And I'm just having a really good time with it. Uh, I keep thinking about how I like want to go back and read more of it. Today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. All right, we secured the bag. Now I'm gonna quickly go to the farmer's market. This is amazing. I don't come to the farmer's market very often and there are people here with like huge carts ready to go ready to get their groceries for the week you know big tote bags everything it's like really fun and exciting and now i'm just realizing that my friend jennifer gave me a cute tote bag with joshua vast's face on it and i should have brought it with me today dang it okay maybe next time i really enjoy looking at everybody's branding and all the fresh fruits and veggies and how families come here together and enjoy. It's quite nice. Nice seating area over here as well. I think people get like coffee here and things like that. I don't know how people make going to the market look like such an easy experience. Like for me, it feels like such an intimidating feat for some reason. Does anybody else feel that way? Is that a llama? It's an alpaca and llama mix. Oh, oh, wow. Awesome. Oh. This farmer's market also has a library right next to it, but I have a lot to read at home and it's just not fair to check out a bunch of books from here when I won't read them right away. So, yeah. I'm aware that the lighting is not good, but I really need to show you guys and then go home. So here's what I got from Whole Foods. I got six of these HU uh, bars, like very like clean chocolate. Like the only ingredients that are all organic are cacao, unrefined coconut sugar, organic cocoa butter, and then like whatever flavors are in here. So this one, for example, has hazelnuts, coffee, and vanilla bean because it's a hazelnut coffee dark chocolate. And all of them are organic, 70% cacao and like vegan and whatever, like all that stuff. So I got like a bunch of different flavors of that because it was on sale. Whole Foods, like usually things are really expensive. So when they have sales on things that I like or things I want to try, then that's when I when I get them. I also got two Miyoko's Creamery. Ooh, okay. The, two Miyoko's Creamery um, vegan cheeses made from cashew milk. This one's classic chai. Then I also got a garlic and herb. Sorry, guys. I know the lighting's really bad. Okay, I got organic corn tortillas. Okay. They did not have my milk, unfortunately, but that's okay. I got the almond barista from Califia Farms. And then the other things I got were just like hummus or hummus, as some may say, electrolyte water. I forgot to vlog the food, but happy birthday, Moria. Thanks, queen. This is my beautiful sister, and today she's feeling 22. Ooh. And we went and got fish. And maybe we'll go to the Grove. And I'm back at the Grove. I was here last week. Went to Barnes & Noble and filmed the vlog. Make sure you check it out if you haven't. But uh, yeah, I'll probably go back to Barnes & Noble again. But let's just have some fun. Just take a moment, you know? Just so beautiful. So, such a beautiful place to go. But I'm also planning on doing other things and not just spending my whole time at the bookstore. Because I can't keep doing that. So... Let's see what else is going on. I'm in Sephora and I just thought I'd show my favorite blush from here. It's the Fenty Beauty. And the shades are Moscow Mule and Ginger Beer. This is the same one that Madison Beer uses. Let me show you how it looks inside. It is literally so beautiful. These two shades. And they're just super nice and go on so well and like last all night. And into Barnes and Noble we go. I've never seen this one before, I've heard of it. Out of Love, Hazel Haze. It starts at the end. A young woman packs up her ex-boyfriend's belongings to see him one last time. 
She moves backward in time. <gasps> that sounds good. Okay, I think I might get this. Cool, I like the cover too. Yeah. These girls are talking about how they want to check out Emily Henry's books and I'm like so tempted to tell them to just do it. Should I? I don't know. Yay! <laughs> Haul later. <laughs> are you sure this is how it's supposed to work? Gonna do a Barnes and Noble haul. So I got this book. Apparently, it just came out, but it was on the book talk tables. I don't know if it was actually getting hyped up on book talk or Barnes and Noble put it there on purpose to like advertise it. But regardless, I'm very excited. First of all, this cover is beautiful. It's called Out of Love by Hazel Hayes, and it's basically about a love story, but it starts at the end and then it goes like backwards in time. So I think you see like from the breakup, and then it goes backwards in time to like the first time they met, which sounds really good. Um, she is Irish and she works in London. She's also a director, a journalist, a screenwriter, like lots of different stuff, which is cool. Um, she used to work in horror. Now she works in romance, which is really interesting. Here's a picture of her. I'm so excited to read this. Like I want to read it now. This is As Old As Time by Liz Braswell, which is one of the Twisted Tale books, which basically so this one is What If Belle's Mother Cursed the Beast? And <gasps> is that Alejandra? <laughs> Can I get a picture with you? Thank you. Cheese. I don't remember what it was called. It was bad. It was one of those. It was not good. Hey, I heard you. Oh, 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 look. It's the other one from the movie. Le Le Leor. Can I get a picture with you too? Your movie was horrible. Can I get a picture? Of uh, course. Oh, and you, you were the one in the that scene, huh? Mm -hmm. Can I get a picture with you too? Mm -hmm. Your movie was trash though. Iconic. Iconic. We're here celebrating Morial's birthday. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. I'm so intrigued by that. It's really intriguing fire. All right, so you have to basically get to assemble your own burger, which is fun. So I got a rib eye burger with truffle fries. She got truffle fries and a burger too, but there was a mix up. Okay, your salad looks very good, Lexi. What is this? It's a barbecue. Barbecue chicken with like guac and <laughs> chips and stuff. It's a barbecue chicken salad. Oh. Morial, Morial got a burger and truffle fries. Shana got truffle fries and some sort of meat. Some sort of steak. Some sort of steak. Laura got a steak and fries. Yeah, like fries. Like Cheers. Time to serenade Morial in song. What is it? It's time to serenade you in song. Um, Happy birthday to your uh, I can do better than that. No. Happy birthday to Marvin. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. When does this end? It doesn't. It's, 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 it's your birthday. Go shawty. Go My name's Ringo. Go shawty. It's your birthday. Shawty, I think you're telling me all Beyonce the last one. Beyonce say yes. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. I'm party like it's your birthday. All the moon rally. Get away from me right now. Morning. It feels so early, but it's 7:30. <laughs> I'm tired. 
I had to run an errand this morning and now that I'm already out I'm like you know what I'm gonna go driving in this area that I really like I don't know maybe I'll be a little aesthetic and like, watch the autumn leaves fall do autumn the autumn leaves fall in December I don't think so but I've been listening to Taylor Swift evermore fall the drill sorry the lighting's real cute look at these pretty flowers if this doesn't feel like fall i know it's december but we're in la and the seasons are all mixed up here anyway if this doesn't feel like fall i really don't know what does look at these red leaves that is nice hello vlog it's monday hello vlog it's monday, it's monday. <laughs> why are you yelling in my face why are you yelling in my swamp shiny shiny this is, well, we all know who this is. This is my bestie, say it. This is my bestie, parties. <gasps> this is I my- missed I missed the light. Oh I my god, the light. oh. Okay. okay. For the vlog. <laughs> I got it, no, no, no. Look at what you did. So, I did do that. I, no, I did not. We're going to the Americana, which is like the Grove, but like all we the way in Glendale. New Americana. Let's <laughs> 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 catch you later. We are. Oh, look at the hot food. It's so cute. Oh, cute doggy. As you can see, this place looks very similar to where I was yesterday because it's owned by the same guy. Uh, so these are kind of like sister malls, but they're oh in different areas. Yeah. Are, do I do some damage when I reach No, the, no. We're going out. Walk away. We're going Walk away. Oh, I don't want to go. Uh, Ew. We're at this Stranger Things pop up. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, eerie. Hello. <laughs> oh, cool. That's like the famous living room thingy. I haven't watched it yet. We love a Hanukkah section. Can I guess you go to it? Yeah. What is this? I don't even know the show. Like, I don't. I watched it, but I don't know what this is. Oh, that looks creepy. My first dance ever. My first middle school dance. I mean, it's really cute. Like, now I kind of wish I watched the show so I could be more excited about this. But I'm sure when I do watch the show, I'll be happy that I came. Scoops Ahoy. I guess that's like an ice cream place they hang out at on the show. All right, very cute. Please name a better view than this. A cappuccino, the bookstore. If you watched my birthday vlog, then you know my friend Parmes, who I'm with today, took me and my sister to Glendale Americana, the same place we're at now. And I filmed in this Barnes and Noble. And actually, did I post? I actually don't remember if I posted. I think maybe I did a book haul based on what I got from here. Anyway, upon walking in, I see this cute young adult paperbacks table. Some of these are like more like staple books in YA, like All the Right Places, Anna and the French Kiss. Like they literally have the fault in our stores, but then also like newer stuff. Parmi, which one do you want? Oh, which one are you guys fast? Choose wisely. I, I suggest Twilight or Anna and the French Kiss no. or All the Right Places. No. Remember when you bought the fault in our stores and then stopped after page 10? Did I? Yeah. yeah that's not the only book I've ever read. Oh yeah, that was the Maze Runner. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. This one's big too. Pardon me. We love a sale. Buy one, get one half price. I don't read a lot of like adult fiction though, so I don't think I'll be getting anything from this section today. This is the year you finally read a hating game. I agree. That's one of the best books. I've yet to read the love hypothesis, but people keep hyping it up and I think it's really cool that it's about I'm pretty sure a PhD student who's studying science, which is cool. And we always love these love sections. Oh, I don't recognize a lot of these. <clears throat> oh, hello. Hi. The wedding ringer. Satisfaction to you do guys. Interesting. Oh, I think some of these are like holiday romances. Well, Christmas specifically, not just any holiday. Oh, Love Listen, Fancy Ships. Rachel Lynn Solomon, who wrote Today, Tonight, Tomorrow, loves this author. Of course, there's a book talk section. How many versions of Ari LaRue are they gonna make? Like, I keep seeing it in different colors. Here's the other side, if you wanna see. I don't know what this is, but it looks so good. Hold on. 
Never fall for your fiance. Let's check this out. Okay, sorry, that was like so zoomed in. Never fall for your fiance by Virginia Heath. The first rule of a fake engagement. The last thing. Okay, it's, it's one of those like. Sorry, the lighting's so bad here. It's one of those like romantic books where there's like an earl and then. But it's like kind of like rom com y and like funny and feels kind of modern, I'm pretty sure. Oh, she, this girl and her sister have to go stay on this like earl's estate and it's a fake engagement that turns into a real romance. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. No, I need to stop buying books. Okay, this, this sounds good though. This sounds really good. We love Colleen Hoover, obviously. I've literally been talking about her since I was in high school. Years and years and years. And I love that there's so many new Colleen fans. Very exciting. I wasn't trying to brag, just was trying to show my excitement. Take a moment to appreciate this view. Yes. We love the YA section. We love it. It's high key hard because I feel like compelled to buy something, which is like ridiculous. I have so many books I need to read. Um, just browsing, just browsing, just browsing. I'm on zero miles. USC, no mileage. <laughs> I'm late for my meeting. Oh. Yeah. Cause there is nobody else. It's gotta be you. I'm gonna let you chase that one. Only you. <laughs> it's gotta be you. I can't hit the I can't hit the high note. Only you. Only you started. Hello, good morning. It's Tuesday the next day. We didn't really miss much last night. Um, I was I worked, so I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna vlog work. And now I decided to go for a walk, and I'm going for a walk in that really cute neighborhood that I showed you guys yesterday, and I'm super excited. I made my own coffee at home, money saver, money saver, and I'm really excited. And a little bit nervous just because there are a lot of hills, as you probably saw from the part of the vlog yesterday. Um, and hills can be hard. Hills can be hard. So. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do my best and be gentle with myself. And um, there's this podcast I've been listening to, this amazing speaker, Kajali Fenster. I love him, he's really inspiring. So I'm gonna be listening to his podcast. I'm gonna take my walk. You know what, it's important to take care of yourself. We gotta, gotta take care of ourselves, people. Gotta exercise, gotta walk. I'm gonna shut up now, I'll talk to you later. Okay, mask is off for a little bit because I'm like severely out of breath. Like those hills were difficult, but so beautiful and I'm glad I went. Um, I haven't seen a person walking around me for a while, so I think we're good. And obviously these people come, the mask will go on. And let me tell you about my current read finally. So I'm reading Once Upon a Quinceanera. This is by Monica Gomez Hira. If you watched my most recent Barnes & Noble vlog, you will know that I bought this at Barnes & Noble, obviously. And I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, it is so much fun. It's about a girl named Carmen who needs to get her diploma um, from high school, but she can't because there's basically a class that she failed. And the reason was she had this internship with this guy. She needed the internship to get credit for the class, but the guy ended up being a creep and she dropped out and the school is like, you have to do the internship all over again. It's fine your summer doing it if you want to get the diploma and if you fail like that's it for you prove it to her school herself and her family that she can do this because she's made mistakes in the past and so she gets this new internship where she's basically playing a party princess like a disney princess at different people's parties and now she has to perform at her cousin's quince she and cousin her cousin have a lot of beef because her cousin sort of got her quince canceled a few years prior and she's playing Belle, and then her ex just came back to town and he's playing beauty so there's just a lot of drama a lot of tea it's just a ton of fun to read and they're cuban and they live in miami um there are also some indian characters just honestly it's a very diverse cast and i'm like really enjoying reading about their culture i love reading stories about other people's cultures because i love writing about mine so it's fun to read about other people's anyway 
really enjoying this so far this is so much fun some people have compared it to like jane the virgin because it gives them like telenovela vibes which i can definitely see so yeah i'm just gonna sit for a little bit and read and pretend like i'm rory gilmore i'm gonna be one of those cool people and bring my book with me enjoy the honking